And today, law enforcement agencies in Osceola County are teaming up to keep people safe as they cross the road. It's all part of their bus fit forward crackdown. News 6's Azzy Castro spoke to a man who says one intersection he uses every day is especially dangerous. We spoke to a resident today who says cars barely yield on this intersection of West Carroll Street and Donegan Avenue. And he says he's glad law enforcement came out here today to crack down on those drivers. Kareem Davis tells us he sees drivers speed on West Carroll Street every time he goes out on his daily walk with his dog, Brooklyn. And as you can tell, the intersection does have a crosswalk where drivers have to yield for pedestrians. As far as this, this street is like, you know, without no stop signs and the crossing guards here when the kids are actually going across, it's like a, you're risking your life. Today, Kissimmee police officers were looking out for those drivers ready to hand out tickets if they didn't obey the law. All right, got a great Toyota. According to a study by Smart Growth America, Central Florida was considered one of the most dangerous areas to walk. It has a lot to do with the way that our roads are designed to our driver behavior. And I can also say in pedestrian behavior too. And so part of the Best Foot Forward program is trying to change the norm. It's not normal for drivers to hit pedestrians. So far this year, 75 pedestrians have been hit and nine people died crossing the street in Osceola County. Normally no one stop for you. You just have to, it's like a, a risk. You gotta wait, go, wait, you know, so if someone's speeding, you definitely don't have a chance. And Davis says he'd like to see street lights in this area to prevent any crashes from happening, especially with the end of daylight savings time. In Kissimmee, Ezzy Castro getting results, News 6.